We recently sat down with customer support leaders from companies like Dixa, Assembled, and Partner Hero to talk about one very important topic, proactive customer support. In this video, I want to tell you what proactive customer support means, why it's so relevant today more than ever, and how you can implement proactive workflows within your organization. Let's start with uh, what actually proactive support means. Proactive support means getting away from uh, reactively chasing the queue of tickets and adding additional touch points with your customers to proactively offer your help. That could mean uh, reaching out to them because you're aware of an issue that they might have before they uh, contact your team. Could mean other randomized check-in with your customer base. It could mean making them aware of an issue that other customers have experienced and they might have been experiencing themselves. And a lot of other scenarios where you're not waiting for customers to get in touch with you, but you take proactively some actions, some steps to talk to them first. And in a lot of cases, you will find out that there will be feedback, there will be issues that they are experiencing, and it will provide incredible value to have those solved proactively. Why is this relevant now more than ever? Uh, with economic uncertainty and a lot of companies uh, reducing their budgets or having a hard time landing new business, it becomes more crucial than ever to retain your customers, prevent churn, and actually invest in driving growth from your existing customer base. That means empowering your CX teams to drive uh, upsells, to drive expansions, and to keep churn to the absolute minimum. Offering proactive support is an extremely effective way to prevent churn, but actually goes beyond that. So a lot of uh, companies that implemented such workflows noticed that positive support experiences led to more loyal customers that stayed with the company longer and that actually spent more. This is true for both uh, reactive and proactive support, but definitely adding proactive touch points gives you more opportunities to talk to your customers, learn about their needs, support them, and ultimately increase their loyalty to your company, strengthen your brand, and ultimately drive those users to spend more money and stay with your product uh, or solution longer. Implementing proactive workflows requires a change in terms of mindset from your team and also might require some investments in technology. So there are tools out there that can help uh, with the communication aspect, so how you can reach out to customers. There are tools like FullView uh, that can help with visibility into what happened. So you can see that your customers are experiencing a problem with your product and you can reach out to them without waiting for them to, to tell you about it. An incredibly mind-blowing statistic says that one out of 26 people experiencing issues will reach out to your support team. That means that for every support request you get, there are many, many more customers that are experiencing problems Maybe not as crucial, but they're experiencing problems and they're not reaching out to your team. So the idea that anyone that is not contacting your support team is happy is absolutely wrong. So you can prevent those customers from churning by simply um, proactively getting in touch with them. Another important aspect when it comes to proactive support is that it actually frees up time for your uh, support team to tackle more important topics and you know continuously just chase the queue backlog of tickets uh, but actually dedicate some time to working with your product team to provide feedback on how your customers are using the product improving your internal documentation streamlining uh, the way things are handled when it comes to the more most simple requests 
and, and all of that. We could spend a lot more time talking about proactive support, uh, but we actually have some resources that we're linking here from the description. So make sure to check those out. And I hope to see you all in our next video. Thank you.